Hi, welcome to Witch in the Kitchen. Today is cleaning day. Yay. I'm doing a little extra cleaning though. I'm starting to feel a bit like things are stopped up, feeling a little bit sticky in my life. So I decided to make a bit of a magical powder for the carpeting so that when I vacuum, I'm cleansing a little bit more than the rug and the floors. It's a real easy thing to do. It's, it's fun. You can use a variety of essential oils and things that you're in tune to that, that can make you feel a particular way or set a particular intention about things. But you start with straight up baking soda. I love baking soda. It's like, what can you not use baking soda for? The stuff's great. I'm going to add approximately, oh, I don't know, half a cup or so of baking soda. I tend to never measure very much. I work intuitively. And to that, I'm going to add sea salt, plain sea salt. Make sure it's sea salt, not any kind of salt with iodine or other additives. You want it to be um, real pure. And salt, salt is great for absorbing negativity and protection. Um, I would like to be able to kind of clear a path psychically as well as clear a path like um, maybe through the hallway here so we can get through things a little easier. And good things can come to me. So we're going to add a roughly eighth of a cup or so of the sea salt. Make sure it's fine. Um, make it easier on your vacuum to uh, suck up later. And this, this is my Florida water. Florida water can be used for a lot of different things. And believe it or not, I've been using it for cleaning. I made a carpet shampoo with this the other day that worked amazingly well. Um, the Florida water is, is powerful and magical. And I'm going to be adding that to this mixture here. Um, I don't know. Let's add a couple tablespoons, maybe. Not too much. Maybe one tablespoon. Don't want it to be too like, like wet, or uh, you know, you want it to mix in, get some of the the good smells, but not be wet in your vacuum and get clogged up in your filter. So you want to do this, uh, just you know, just enough. Smells so good. Smells so good. And you can use whatever other essential oils might be appropriate for what your intent is. So as you clean, you focus, you make your intent on, you know, for me, it's clearing a path. Uh, literally, figuratively, metaphysically, clearing a path. So I can kind of uh, clear my head, get things moving, get things freshened up. Um, I always work a lot with my ancestors, so the Florida water in particular kind of has a little bit extra meaning for me for that too. Uh, peppermint's a great one. Uh, if you want to do something with money, mints are good for that. All sorts of different things you can do. Lavender, if you're cleaning out a sick room, you want to do something that's healing. Um, many, many things. So once you get it all blended really well, I use a fork just in case there are some lumps, you can break it up. You have your powder. And I'm going to go now sprinkle this on my floor and get to cleaning. Thanks for watching.